found on TikTok reminding my married neighbor what he's missing while his wife is home today. Wow. Uh, why is this stitched with deserve a Dr. Pepper? <laughs> Why would this make me think about Dr. Pepper? Also, you're gross. I hate this. Never give me this subreddit again, man. I didn't like this. I didn't like this one bit. This made my head hurt. <laughs> OMG, I found one. POV, you finally left the American woman alone and you got yourself a European wife and now this is what your life looks like. Great, what changed? <laughs> Still being served the same low quality meals. I can't tell what the hell's on that plate. Maybe the countrymen just don't want her. Your parents are worried about you partying and doing drugs. Mine's worried about me being at the gym too long and the amount of caffeine I consume. Yeehaw. When he says he has feelings for me, but I'm a blonde five foot one tomboy with a caffeine addiction. Try again, hashtag country boys. Yeehaw. Can y'all city girls date your own kind and leave some for the some of the country guys for the rest of us? We country girls need them more than y'all do. <laughs> so different. No, because normal 23 year olds are out partying on the weekend. And I'm making homemade rolls for my three gremlins while they watch a Disney movie and my husband does yard work. <laughs> Cause I'm different, I'm different, I'm so different. <laughs> oh, they'll want to be quirky, but being just like everybody else. You're just like all of us. You want validation online. Self-aware boy mom, son, let's go on a date. No way, Jose. Why? We've been dating since you were one. Because people think you're my girlfriend now. Sucks for you, bro. We are dating anyways. I fought for these dates. Great. Yuck. So I, I've seen like boy mom kind of posts. I had to look it up. Uh, as I understand it right now, boy moms think like it's a personality trait to raise a son and are like very emotionally like attached to their boys. Like these are posts where every self-declared boy mom is like throwing themselves over their sons and being like, don't get a girlfriend. What the, what's the holy Oedipus, Batman? To be fair, when Oedipus found out that uh, the lady was his mother, he did gouge his own eyes out. So I guess there's, I guess it's not exactly Oedipus. Love when this like this show up on my Insta. I am a stay at home mom who bakes sourdough. I don't wear aprons. I don't homestead. I'm not religious. I don't homeschool my kids. I don't serve my husband. I work with him. I just bake bread. That's great. Why don't you wear an apron when you bake though? Feel like you're gonna get your clothes dirty. That just feels like it's being negligent of your clothes. We're Christian girls. Of course you make us mad. We're gonna say God bless you. We're not listening to the newest release of a book or podcast. If you ask me my horoscope, of course I'm gonna tell you I'm a child of God. Of course you don't say happy holidays. We say Merry Christmas. Shut up. Stop it. <laughs> that was insufferable. <laughs> Would somebody please tell this insufferable child? 14 year old me was insufferable. Dear whores on Facebook, please wear more clothing. I'm tired of gagging every time I open Facebook. Sincerely, a girl who doesn't have to flash people to get attention. Thanks, bye. I'm pretty much the only girl that's different. <laughs> ah, yep, yeah, all these, all these, uh, what, what, what do you call them, dolled up bimbos and you're the only edgy error. I love this because it defines my whole school perfectly. Every girl is pretty much the same person and I'm pretty much the only girl that's different, yet no one seems to notice me. Tucks hair behind ear, Debbie Ryan style. Disrespectfully, we might have pulled the same man, but we will never be in the same league. Respectfully, you could never be me. And disrespectfully, I'd never want to be you. And that's why you've used the bold glamour filter to touch up your looks for this TikTok, correct? I see. Normally, I don't clown on shit like that, but when you're being a head, man, you know, we're not so different. We're not so different. Who am I kidding? I would have called that out anyway. <laughs> Oh no, another one. We may have pulled the same man, but we'll never be in the same league. Respectfully, it'll never be me. Disrespectfully, it'll never want to. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. A third one, I get it already. I would love to know what the comments say though. Where's dress so obviously feminism bad? When you used to be an OF model, but now you post about baking sourdough, living for God and speak against modern feminism, but you can join my other spicy, so it, would, it, would, it would be like a, 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 a sneaky promotion. I already, I already know, marketing tactics. It's how you, how you wire them in. It's how you make a deal, a sale. It's what I would do anyway. <laughs> Quote, for no reason. Starting a new job and all the females already have beef with me for no reason. Happens every time and I don't even talk like that. What I do? This is just sad. Me taking the biggest step back when he says feminism's been good for women. Hold on now, sir. Let's just take a little detour here. Great. So what, what, what are you gonna tell me, huh? My jaw dropped. Holistic health things I do that people think are weird. And just so we're clear here, just in case anyone, mainly me, who doesn't know what holistic means, 
Holistic is uh, something characterized by the treatment of the whole person, taking into account mental and social factors rather than just symptoms of the illness. All right. One pound of beef every day. OK, starting off relatively normal. I eat a pound of beef a day because I'm a fucking monster. Don't go to a doctor or get any shots. All right. Not scared to drink raw milk. Well, your name is Gwen the Milkmaid, so I figured this would come into play at some point. These boy moms are getting out of hand. All right, strap in another boy mom <laughs> post. When you have three boys and one girl, so you only deal with one female's hormones, but then your boys start to get married and suddenly there are a ton of attitudes, hormones, and tears. Yeah, because that's what happens when your boys grow up and they get married. There's a chance that they will marry a woman. Yes, but uh, the attitudes thing, I feel like that's because of you. <laughs> Her husband doesn't allow her to have male friends. One, I don't leave home alone after dark. Anything that needs to be done outside the home can be done during daylight. I always ask my husband before I leave home and arrive places as well as share locations. I'm safest at home and with my husband. This is all about safety. We use Life360 app. Oh, this is a product placement. Two, no opposite sex friendships. This is disrespectful to your partner and opens doors for comparison and affairs to happen. Any friendship needs I get from women and my family. If you look in the search, trad wife is in there so I know what's going on. Not feminist, dot, dot, dot. Why do authors think shit like this is cute or funny? Like girl, f off. Plus, I like feeding people, she says. Maybe it's not feminist or whatever, but I like taking care of people. You have to be heartless to be feminist? It's almost impossible not to tease Theo. You know what I mean, she shrugs. I know I'm supposed to be ambitious and take over the world, but I really just want a restaurant small enough that I can peek out and see people's faces when they try the food. That's still an ambition. You, you, can, still be, you can still be a feminist and want to do something that you dream of doing. It's fine. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus. I'm not, I'm not cut up on a lot of rhetoric, so this is all like, dude, I, I stay in my lane of, of, of horror and wrestling. That's what I like. The pick me to boy mom pipeline is very real. Imagine carrying pregnancy for nine months only to end up giving birth to a little creature who does not only look exactly like her father, but she's also taken all of your husband's attention. As a woman, if your first child is a girl, just know you now have a biological co-wife. Why are you competing with your child? So this is the real question I have for you. It's not a competition. You just, you have a child now. There's new responsibilities and that's okay. It's part of the whole deal. Romanticizing rural living is not okay. I want the homestead lifestyle. Me being on a farm, wearing dresses, baking, caring for my babies and getting to milk cows and feed chicks. It's easier than girl boss bitches who want the city life with rent and gender study degrees. No one cares about law yeah, until you milk an actual cow and then you're like, oh no, <laughs> I take it. <laughs> Why is it always sourdough and dresses? POV, you chose a man who provides so you get to spend every day in pretty dresses taking care of the children in the home and baking fresh sourdough. No, girl, you're making content and shilling an Amazon store. Get over yourself. No matter how you tart it up, you're just like the rest of us. Exactly. They're not just staying at home. Make, exactly, they're, they're selling shit. Exactly. I can make, make your man, man dump you. you. Need I remind you, I have the power to make your man dump you and I don't even know him. It's not because of my looks either, baby. It's because I make him realize he deserves better. Step it up or step down. <laughs> You're a whole woman yourself, bozo. Society of women didn't vote. Who posted this? Oh, pearly things? I Okay, I don't, need, I don't need to care about this tweet. Pearly things posted it. I don't need to, I don't need to dedicate any bandwidth to that. Weird and creepy vibes from this. Showing my son what a woman thriving in her feminine looks like so your dusty daughter can't impress him with her insecurities disguised as confidence while wearing her birthday suit at a mu music festival in the middle of Nowhere Field. Hey, Nowhere Field is beautiful, thank you. Also, yeah, a little disturbed by that. What do you mean what a woman thriving in her feminine looks like? What do you mean by that? Other girls are whores. Yeah, I'm a 10 out of 10, but my body count's still zero. Being pretty doesn't mean you have to get around, girls. <laughs> oh, Jesus. 